Welcome to Faith and People's Hall channel. Please subscribe, comment, like and share. Have you ever wondered how a single individual can shape the course of religious history? Meet Jonathan Edwards, one of America's most influential theologians. Born in the early 18th century, Edwards played a pivotal role in the First Great Awakening, a revivalist movement that forever changed American religious landscape. His sermons sparked a fervor that swept across the colonies, while his writings continue to shape theological discourse to this day. Let's delve into the life of this remarkable man and the profound impact he had on American religious thought. Born in the American colonies, Jonathan Edwards showed an early aptitude for learning, entering Yale College at the tender age of 12. This prodigious mind was nurtured in East Windsor, Connecticut, where he was born on October 5, 1703. Young Edwards' intellectual prowess didn't stop at early college admission. He graduated from Yale in 1720, proving himself an exceptional student. This educational journey prepared him for the influential role he would play in shaping American theology. Education laid the foundation for Edwards to embark on a career that would leave an indelible mark on American religious history. Edwards's strict interpretation of Calvinist theology and his emphasis on religious conversion were not without controversy. Dedicated to his calling, Edwards served as a pastor in Northampton, Massachusetts. He became a leading figure within the Calvinist theological tradition. This belief system emphasized the sovereignty of God and the concept of predestination, the idea that God has foreordained all things. However, his rigid stance stirred the waters within his congregation. His sermons like sinners in the hands of an angry God were influential in sparking religious fervor, but they also led to conflicts. The emphasis on the necessity of religious conversion and his strict interpretation of theology were not well received by all. These disagreements eventually led to Edwards's dismissal from his position as pastor. Yet, undeterred by the controversy, Edwards continued to promulgate his beliefs, penning theological writings such as Freedom of the Will and The Nature of True Virtue. Despite the challenges he faced, Edwards remained committed to his theological convictions. After leaving Northampton, Edwards continued his ministry and writing, leaving a rich legacy that continues to influence religious thought today. He found a new home in Stockbridge, Massachusetts, where he not only resumed his pastoral duties, but also engaged with Native American communities. This later career phase also saw Edwards as a prolific writer, penning theological treatises, sermons, and philosophical reflections. His writings such as Freedom of the Will and the Nature of True Virtue remain significant contributions to American literature and religious thought. In 1758, Edwards accepted the presidency of the College of New Jersey, now known as Princeton University. Sadly, he held this position for only a few weeks before his death, yet his influence endured. Jonathan Edwards is considered one of America's most important theologians and a key figure in the history of American Christianity. His influence extends beyond his lifetime impacting subsequent generations of theologians and religious thinkers. Jonathan Edwards, a man of conviction and profound influence, remains a significant figure in the annals of American Christianity. Thank you for watching Faith in People's Hall channel. Please subscribe, comment, like and share.